Hi friends. It's one of the best days of the month. It's ink flight day. Woo woo. I don't have my knife. So we're doing the, the bad thing that I dislike, which is using scissors to cut it open. Off camera so we don't accidentally show off our dress. Okay, let's go. So what do we have here? We have some washi tape. That I can't get into. I feel really shaky right now and I don't know if it's because I haven't eaten yet. That's not true, I had some yogurt. Some yogurt. I love it when some British people try to say yogurt with an American accent and they just, they don't have a handle on how to pronounce ours. Uh, you know. I'm failing at opening. It's appropriate that this says keep on going as I struggle to keep on going. How you like me now? Ludicrous lyric in my head. Okay, and then we have. Oh my gosh, look at this cute little inktopus. It's a painter. Oh my goodness. With also a nib. And. Interesting. A Ferris wheel press carousel pen. So the one I got is sort of a beige color. Does it screw on? It doesn't actually open everyone. It just sits there. All right, let's read the thing. So this is Ferris wheel press carousel fountain pen and washi tapes. Um, let's look at the washi tapes. What day is it? You can't help me with that. Crime on you and I can't help me with that. It's here. Let's watch the washi tapes here. No, we'll swash them on the, swash them? We're gonna swash the washi tapes over here. Swash the watchy tapes. <sighs> Y'all, I'm not used to having nails this long. I don't know if you can tell that. Okay, this one has space things on it. Um, maybe I'll go get a salad and some french fries. I always wonder when I place that order if people are like, what is happening with this woman? <laughs> Not a fried chicken sandwich or a burger and fries. No, no, no. I mean, sometimes I get those. Okay, so this this one says, keep on going, always be joyful, never stop dreaming. I'm here to tell you, those are lovely, but it's okay also to have negative emotions. You don't have to always be joyful, friends. Feel the feelings that you have. Don't force yourself to feel feelings you're not feeling. You get what I'm feeling? Okay. First we'll press carousel fountain pen and washi tapes. Here is how Fairfield Press presents the carousel fountain pen in their own words. The carousel is a joyous writing instrument that combines tactility, tactility, 
and nostalgia in a lightweight body to create a charming experience with every single detail. The custom ground steel nib is playful and agile, producing beautifully nuanced lines with subtle flexibility. This nib is stamped with a galloping horse that dances to your every word. Every carousel fountain pen comes equipped with its own ink converter ready to be filled and refilled all over again with your favorite inks. In this box we ship the first will press count carousel fountain pen in an assortment of colors in medium point size. First will press this in the only stationery maker that enjoys whimsical illustrations of animals in space. Also included in this month's box is a set of three washi tape rolls from Compoco. Use them to decorate your journal, stationery, and snail mail. Lastly, you'll find a new artistic inktopus vinyl sticker with a rainbow holographic finish. By the way, the cap pulls off. I just got real with it off camera. This is like, this feels like it'd be a great beginner fountain pen. Now, what inks do we get? First off, I'll celebrate the free tape. Boo, 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 hail the free tape which we were able to disconnect, mostly disconnect Maria. That's the word we're going for with how we remove paper from tape. Taper from tape. Okay, here we are. We're not looking as long as possible. Do you like to do that with surprises? Ooh, we have Inkabara. That's cool. I think, did, did we have Inkabara before? I've never had Inkabara before unless I did. Um. Right on. The paper's on the floor now. Now turn the page. Everyone, turn the page. Here we are on the road again. <clears throat> okay. I don't know how to pronounce these. I'm going to try. Dushan and Eva, Eva Prachar mix, fill, and label each bottle of Inkabara fountain pen inks by hand from the small village of Seamer, in the Czech Republic. Dushan began experiencing with ink alchemy about 10 years ago to compensate for the lack of fountain pen inks available in the Czech market. Since naming their inks, Inkabara in 2018, over 50 Inkabara ink colors are now available worldwide. We asked Dushan to pick the best colors for you to sample in this month's flight. So let's see here. We have pastel or pastel. Violet. Um, Alice Red. Giant Blue. Brown Pink. I, th I bet there's going to be a bunch of people's jam right there. Granite Green. Deer Brown. I think this is a popular one too. And Petrol Dark. So. As usual, we have coloring cards or call coal o ring, however you want to say it. I have my Hobonichi Weeks, which still has the OG Tomorrow River paper in it, even in this year's releases. And this is some original Tomorrow River paper, too, that I no longer remember the prominence of. So, look, get off of here, papers. All right. Yo. Let's go. I didn't finish that whole quote. You didn't hear me say the whole quote. What do we also have? An automatic pen. A little cheap paintbrush. Steel nib pen. Glass pen. I am way too hot. I'm wearing a sweatshirt. I don't know why, okay? I don't know why. You're going to ask me why, and I'm going to just be like, I'm an idiot. That's why. I was slightly cold when I got out of bed, I guess. I mean, it was only in the 70s after all. Okay. You're making a mess. I guess we'll ink up the pen, because... So, I feel like my hands are going to be shaky. Maybe. Okay. We'll start with pastel violet. 
says this undersaturated multi-chromatic pink ink shades with pale blue undertones. This sounds like it's going to be just great fun. Can't even see it in the upstroke. <laughs> what happened to getting that other rag, Maria? Did you forget? I think she forgot. You know, actually. Scratch my eyeball a little bit. It's going on okay. violent agitation of paintbrush and water intensifies. I like using all these different things. I think it kind of teaches you something about the ink because like some, some inks work better with stuff than others. Um, I'm doing this wrong right now, but it's going on the paper, so it's going to be right enough. I feel like I haven't been doing very many inky things. I'm really irritated with the pens I inked up for thingy. Like a couple of them, the shimmers are just getting stuck and I'm like having none of it. Um, do you know what month it is by chance? Okay, thanks. That's pastel violet. It's pretty. Ooh, it's doing some great breaking around the edges. And then, oh, also I forgot to mention my adorbs uh, ink pad. Next up, we're going to do Alice Red. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. This one they say, this red has a medium light saturation with medium shading and dark edging. I say, this is the red ink, y'all. Oh no. You were being blocked. For goodness sake. It's a little better. I'm sorry if the light is dim. It's that time of day when it's actually pretty bright, but then it kind of makes things look awkward. Oh, this ink is a very sort of bloody ink. Hmm. And not in that, like, inappropriate language on the BBC way. 
you know, you know. Right? Maybe you don't know. Oh! Well, it went in the wrong row, so we're putting it in the wrong row. It's like a big thing of ink dropped on the paper. <laughs> so, it's out of order now. Okay. Am I forget? There's probably stuff I'm forgetting to do. I'm sorry. You know, this happens all the time. It's the way the way of all things. Alice Red. I wonder who Alice is. If I should ask her what the doormouse said. Here we have Giant Blue, which is, says, give your writing depth with the shading quality of this medium toned blue ink. Doing neat stuff on the nib. If I had to guess, these will seem lubricated. Or some people would say they're wetter inks. They flow. I might move this sewing machine. I feel like it's blocking us. Can you call a serger sewing machine? It does do sewing, right? But if I went into a sewing machine shop and I said I'm looking for a sewing machine, they probably wouldn't show me a serger. I said it all before, but it bears repeating. <laughs> Laughing. Maria, you're silly. I, I put a song in a bunch of people's heads with just one word today. Later, we will see it. I will, I will share with you, and then you will thank me. You will be like, whoa, I didn't even know I needed that. Oh, yeah, I can't wait for it. It's by a local band. <clears throat> Giant blue looks really pretty to me. Also, there was something in there. Probably in my brush. This is a gorgeous ink. Oh. oh, be still my heart. And I love how it's like granulating at the top. Y'all can't see that, but I can see it and I love it. Okay, next up. We have... Brown pink. This is described as this warm light brown ink shades nicely with blue gray edging. Brown pink. 
That was a pretty popular nail polish color for a while. What was one of them called? Minky Muffs, maybe? I haven't ever had that one. I had... Was it Overboard by China Glaze? Let me hear from my nail polish lovers down there. <laughs> this is Silk and Cord by... Was it Essie? I threw out the bottle. It's weird. Like, it's old. You know, that's what I mean by weird. So... But I had committed, so I was like, well, I guess we're painting them now. Don't look too closely at my manicure, though. Especially if you're the Countess, who has amazing manicures. She rocks, like, a totally Louboutin heel manicure sometimes that I've seen. And it's just, like, chef's kiss. Oh, you can't see. That was chef's kiss. Thanks for playing along at home. I have a chef's kiss. Do I get the pink in that brown? Or is it just brown? I feel like it might just be brown. I'm not going to call them a liar. But it's just brown. And, um, thanks for putting the cap back on, Maria, and not stressing me out. Yeah, no problem. Next up, we have Granite Green. This deep, rich green is saturated with black sheen. Mm -hmm. Whoops, I just smushed some stuff. I gotta write my G's differently, but here we are. I usually go up that high, but you're not supposed to. You're supposed to sort of do like that, I think. You're also supposed to leave enough room for all the letters. So, you know, I just do what I want. Usually my Thursdays, this is a Thursday I'm filming this, are like, they were, last week I had started having meetings at 10 a.m. and I didn't have, my last meeting ended at 5.30 p.m. And the only break in there was a short one over what should have been lunch, but the meeting that ended before lunch ran long. So, <laughs> Thursdays were like hell. Um... But that has changed, and now I feel like, what am I going to do with my day? <laughs> Which is, and the answer to that is, I'm going to get so much work done. Well, I mean, I was getting work done in the meetings. That's part of my job. But, you know, I can get other work done now. This is definitely saturated. It, to me, looks a bit foresty. I'm curious though, because I think forest green is an interesting color name because forests are not the same color of green everywhere. Um, around here, we have mostly redwood forests, which are a very like specific shade of green. Um, where I just visited the Denver area, they have, is it Aspen? Yeah, well, Maria. In Colorado, are they Aspens, Maria? Hmm. What's the name of that one? Ski Town? Anyway, Aspen and um, Pine. And Pines and Redwoods are not the same shade. I don't think, at least. And then what if you have, like, a forest that's, like, really ferny? Which, we have some of those here. Or we have... I mean, they're. I guess they're technically not forests if they're, like... Caparol, but I tend to think a forest is like anything with a lot of trees, which is not like the technical definition. Let me hear your thoughts on forests below. Thanks. Thanks. That was granite green. Next up, we have deer brown. This shading sandy brown ink attempts to capture the color of deer fur. And again, 
what kind of deer, right? Like there's all sorts of deer. I have a picture I took. Oh my gosh, he's the cutest wee little deer with his fuzzy antlers. Oh my gosh. I mean, he's not that little. But he had fuzzy antlers. I hate these. I know somebody's going to make a joke. It's fine. We'll gloss over what I just said. And we're doing an R. Um, who else here saw Bambi when they were a kid and were like, what happened to Bambi's mom? I don't understand. I was just an innocent child. I was really disturbed when we watched WWF, as it was then, um, because all those guys were hurting each other. For the record, that has somewhat still stayed with me. And I recently watched a movie that I was like kind of looking away at parts because these guys were punching each other. <laughs> This is one of those, this is definitely one of those Marmite colors. In fact, perhaps literally in this case. <laughs> AKA love it or hate it, no in between. I'll let you guess which side of that debate I'm on. It's not a debate. Um, and last up we have Petrol Dark. Now, generally I love colors called Petrol, so we'll see. This saturated teal ink shades with a rich purple sheen. Oh yeah? Does it? I really need to eat. My hands being shaky. Oh gosh. In my defense, I think it's also because of the medication I take. <laughs> I don't know if they're like feathery inks or if it's just that they're lubricated or whatever, but all of them, that line has gone down, like, dark, thicker. Oh, here's that beautiful petrol color. I think, um, I suspect I wouldn't love this one as much in a pen because... I want it to be the light color. In most pens, it'll come out the darker color. We could find out. We could put it in the pen. Does anyone remember if I have a blue ink in a pen this month? So we gotta pick an ink to put in this pen. Let me pause. Okay, I picked an ink and it's in here. I think y'all are gonna be surprised. So this is Ferris Wheel Press Carousel. And medium, Inkabara, 
brown, pink. So in normal writing, if you've ever used a pen, like a vintage pen, this does not flex at all. <laughs> if you've only used modern flex pens, it's probably fine. So no pressure. Yeah. So let us evaluate the claims here. That it is a joyous writing instrument. Tactility and nostalgia? Nostalgia for what? There's no way we all have the same nostalgia. Lightweight body? Check. Charming experience? With every single detail? No. Custom ground steel nib? Okay, I'll guess. Playful and agile? Well, I suppose it's not waterfall. So it must be agile. Yeah. <laughs> Beautifully nuanced lines with subtle flexibility. If by subtle, they mean virtually non-existent, I'm going to agree. But, hey, I'd say free pen, but it's included in the cost of the box. So it's hardly free. However, I'd give this to somebody who wanted to get into pens. In fact, I may do so. But I will write with it until it's out of ink. Also, are you shocked that I picked brown pink? I felt like it went well with the pen color. And also like with the inks that I have currently inked, no spoilers. So here's the Tamoa River paper. So we have pastel violet, the cream colored in the weeks, pastel violet, uh, giant blue, which I do adore. Alice Red, which is a nice red. Um, a little less bloody on this paper. Brown pink, granite green, deer brown. If you like, y'all know who you are that you like these colors, you'll like this color. Uh, and then Petrol Dark, which does have like some like gasoline looking sheen on it. Then we have on the white, I should like swing you out and we'll look at it over here. See if that works. See if that works. Kind of worked. Oh my tummy rumble. Sorry, only adult words on this channel like tummy. So, you can kind of get both of them in here. Pastel Violet, Alice Red, Giant Blue, Brown Pink, Granite Green, Deer Brown, Petrol Dark. That Deer Brown, the dark sheen on it is dope. And then Blue. Let me know if you like this super washed out sunlight look. And we'll bring the cards over here. Pastel violet. Alice red. You still, it's a good red. I wouldn't buy this over Red Dragon, but that's my taste. Giant Blue, Brown Pink. I think I like this color. I feel weird about that. Granite Green. I have indeed seen granite in this color. Dear Brown. It's like you're writing a letter. Dear Brown. Wrong deer. And petrol dark. 
Look at that up at the top. Do you see that? Ooh, funky. Okay. But let's go back to our usual mess over here. Let the lighting adjust. Don't sit on the notebook. So that was this month's box. My, my phone is overheating because it was in the sun. We got this pen from Ferris Wheel Press. The carousel fountain pen. Where'd my sticker go? Well, I already lost the sticker. But it was cute. We all saw it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> and some washi tape. And our Inkabar inks. And a mess. So, did you get Ink Flight this month? Um, they sent an email. They're raising the price of it. And I really liked how thoughtful they were to address the fact that they realized it might price some people out of it. And they were sorry, but yo, I get it, man. Prices, they are a climbing. Um... So, curious, if you get it, will you continue to get it after this, or is that kind of, like, just too far for you? And if you get it, if you did get it, what was your favorite ink this month? Even if you didn't get it, of these inks, which of them is your favorite? Is there one here that you're like, ooh, I gotta try that? Um, let me know. Also, you know, feel free to let me know if you, how your day's going. What's up? You know, you know, just... Just YouTube things. Um, <laughs> I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.